That breaking news, freedom for a man locked up for the murder of a 12-year-old girl more than two decades ago. A conviction that is now overturned. He and his family are speaking right now live to our Aaron Baskerville, uh, standing in a group of people. Let's listen in. Hey. Yeah, we're dipping in right now. He's talking. Right. No, we're now live on Channel 4 and all the other stations right now, but the fact of the matter is, what do you want to say to the people who have truly backed you all of these years? Lamar? Uh, you know, I'm very definitely thankful to everybody that's been in my corner all this time, that trusted and knew that I'm not the type of person that would do something like that, and knew my character, knew what kind of family I come from, and I'm just thankful that they always backed me and kept me throughout these 21 years. There's Lamar, just to your mother again. Just, what do you want to say to Christina, the, this young lady's um, family? Well, I hope that they are hopeful that justice will be done for them and in, in, the, right. in the process moving yeah. forward. And we we're looking forward to that too. That's something that we, we urge and we're praying about. So hopefully that can come to pass sooner than better. What do you do today? You're out now. What do you, what do you plan on doing the next few go hours? Home, go home and spend time with my family. There's going to be a whole lot of tears, a whole lot of snot, and we're going to love each other. What have you missed the most? Lamar, what have you missed the most? I've missed everything, everything. <laughs> Mom, just just once again, we're live on television. his granddaughter. What's that, what's that going to be like, reuniting him with his granddaughter? It's going to be like, it's going to be like heaven. Like heaven. Yes, it is. Like heaven. Live on the Innocent Project, but let's talk about your family. So I'm going to get over on the other side here just to dip back in. Faith in God. I knew that this day would someday come, and I've just been hopeful because I knew it wasn't in my hands, but it was in his hands. So I trust in that. That's where my faith lies, and I stand on that with everything that's in me. Take us back to that moment last this week when that judge said, we're going to grant you this new trial. There's something there. Take I was, us back to that moment. I was just uh, thanking God because of the, uh, this the kind of peace that he had in my heart from the beginning that this day was going to come. And that's what kept me sustained and kept me hopeful. And to see that come to pass, man, I, I just can't express it with words. It's just a blessing. When you, gotta know, go, when, when, really when you know that you are innocent, yep. you don't have nothing to worry about. You might spend some time in prison. People might talk about you, put you down, and say you did this and said you did that. But don't nobody really know what you've done but God. Le Man will say anything. Lamar, we'll let you go. But are you angry right now at all? Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm no, not, ang I, not angry. I didn't, angry I didn't got wife, over that. Please. I didn't got over me being angry or unforgiving. You know what I mean? I understand that uh, this is the way the system is right now. And I, I'll probably talk more on that a little bit later. But right now, I just want to get home with my family. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Lamar. Thanks, Mom, for everything. We appreciate it. Right there, you just heard Lamar Munson and his mother talking about him being out of prison for the first time in 20 years, more than 20 years. We're going to give you a lasting shot over here of him getting inside his vehicle and going. He said right now he's not angry right now. He said he'll talk about that a little bit later. Obviously, he's a God-fearing man, so he was thanking God for his release. Here, right here, he is hugging Bill Proctor, former Channel 7 reporter one of the men behind this whole thing, along with the Innocence Clinic and getting him out of prison. He was convicted in 1996 of killing a 12-year-old girl in Detroit. New evidence came forward, and now he's been granted a new trial for April 24th. Right now, you're seeing live pictures of him getting inside his vehicle and driving off. Of course, we're going to have much more on this story coming up tonight at 10 and 11, but right there, we just wanted to dip in for a little bit, hear what he had to say. A very happy man. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. And emotional for his family. Aaron, thank you.